friends. Um, happy Monday, or rather, happy whatever day of the week it is that you're watching this video. And wherever you are in the world, whatever is going on in your life, I would just like to send you a very, very big heartfelt hug. Thank you so very much for choosing to spend this time with me. In a few of my recent videos, I've shared how social media has had a profoundly negative impact on my mental health recently. And I know this is not unique to myself. I know this is a very much shared, common experience, but it got so bad for me that I decided to delete Instagram and other social media apps from my phone for the month of June. I was so sick of doom scrolling and just wasting hours upon hours negatively comparing myself to other people and spiraling downwards. And so in removing social media apps from my phone, I had grand ambitions for this month. I was going to do so much with this extra time. I was gonna organize my computer, my email, and my pictures. You guys, I was gonna read eight books. I was going to always keep the house clean. And I was going to film a video about the experience and how it changed my life. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I have to be honest with you guys. My screen time increased. It increased. <laughs> As it turns out, the Weather Channel app is very interesting. So are my old photo albums on my phone. And I fell into this habit of spending ridiculous amounts of time texting and calling people. Also, I'm not proud of this, but Venmo is surprisingly fun to scroll through. You'd be surprised at what you can find out. <laughs> Scrolling through Venmo. <laughs> I did, I stooped to the low level of a casual Venmo scroll. As it turns out, social media was only part of the problem and I am addicted to scrolling on my phone. Now, I will say it was extremely nice not having the endless negative self-comparison loop going on in my head because I didn't have the social media platforms to compare my life to. I found so much more peace in my day-to-day goings-ons or happenings and I definitely felt more present in every moment. In all seriousness though, I am tired of having my attention always on demand. I am tired of feeling out of control of my own life and I am tired of losing hours and hours of every single day to mindless scrolling on my phone. This isn't how I want to spend my life. And so this week, I'm going to focus on what I can control, which is how I spend my spare time. And my goal is to spend hardly any time whatsoever on my phone. And instead, I want to spend my time in a way that feels good. Specifically, simple joys. Teeny happy moments with lasting impact. Are you with me? If so, go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea Grab your coziest of comfy blankets or your um, skimpiest of tank tops if it's absurdly hot outside wherever you are. And um, here's to doing our best to living a meaningful life with time well spent. Cheers, friends.
I am at the end of a very good work day and ahead of me lies a very nerve-wrackingly exciting evening. I don't know about you, but I feel an immense amount of guilt when I don't spend my time in a manner that I deem good. <laughs> and I know that this isn't healthy, like it's perfectly okay to have non-productive hours, days, weeks, months, so on and so forth. It's all about balance, and so I'm trying to find that balance. And it's working, um, but we're in summer, and always during summer I feel an extra push to make the most of my time because it's so sunny and nice and it's when I feel the healthiest and most alive. I just want to emphasize that our lives matter even if we're not able to do grand things. Like, you don't have to travel internationally. You don't have to live in a cabin in the forest. You don't have to spend heaps and heaps of money for your life to have meaning or to matter or to be doing a good job at life. Again, with social media, we see everybody's highlight reels, myself included, and oftentimes it makes us feel that if our life doesn't look like what we're seeing on these apps, we're somehow failing or it's not good enough, which is not okay because it's not these big grandiose adventures that make our lives meaningful. It is the small things and it's our perspective, you know? Like there's so much magic that can be found in the mundane. Or rather, you do not have to be extraordinary to live an extraordinary life. I want to feel alive and I want to make the most of my time in a healthy, balanced way. And for me, this summer, that looks like saying yes to things that I would normally pass up. For example, tonight our friends invited us to go paddleboarding with them. They have a spare paddleboard and so we're going to go to the river and paddleboard together. And normally this would terrify me. It actually does quite terrify me. It's something that I would typically pass up. But in the spirit of feeling alive this summer, I've said yes. So, when Landon gets home from work, we're gonna head out and we're gonna make the most of it and hope that it goes well. And I'm taking you guys with me. <laughs> Send us out.
friends, we have reached the end of another work day and I am feeling quite tired, if I'm honest with you. Um, but it was a good day, nonetheless. I wanted to explain what I was working on this morning. So for part of my morning routine, I like to always try and learn something new. And I'm currently making my way through a domestic course with my patrons. And this course is focused on uh, sketchbooking, specifically for children's book illustration. And I had to create a mood board for the story that I'm going to do, and I've chosen to do Heidi. And then work-wise, I got some editing done and did some Patreon things, and then also did some bookkeeping, which is always headache-inducing. Um, so as I mentioned yesterday, I'm trying desperately to find a balance between productivity and making the most of my time and relaxation and yesterday was so much fun I'm really glad that I stepped outside my comfort zone and I'm also just immensely grateful to live close to a river and have access to an abundance of nature time spent outside and especially time spent outside with friends always makes me feel so good so it was really wonderful but also definitely on the bigger end of the scale as far as living my best life is concerned. And so tonight I would like to reel it back in and just have a casual cozy night. I'm gonna make some really yummy food and then just spend the night reading. And so yesterday morning I started The Mists of Avalon, which is nearly a thousand pages long. And this book is a retelling of the Arthurian legends, but from the female characters' perspectives. And I read through the prologue in chapter one yesterday and oh goodness, I am so excited to continue it. And I'd like it to be the book that I return to throughout the summer. I think it's gonna be my summertime book read. As such, that is the book that I plan on cozying up with tonight. So friends, let's eat some boots and um, let's get reading. <laughs> Change is gonna find me 
Day, honestly normally Wednesdays are low for me because I have inevitably fallen short of all my over eager to do's that I planned at the beginning of the week and yet still have an overwhelming amount of to do's still left to do before the end of the week that's a lot of do's <laughs> okay um, but honestly last night was so nice I feel so grateful to have had the time to just relax and read and I really enjoyed becoming lost in this book. I even read up to page 112 which honestly is hardly even a dent <laughs> but the standard alternative would have been scrolling on social media instead of reading and that would have led to me negatively comparing myself to what I was seeing and then when I checked into work on Wednesday, in a normal week, I would have felt even worse about all my unaccomplished to-dos because I had negatively compared myself to other people the previous night. I know you guys understand. But I've been really intentional with my time and it does feel so good. I just hope that I can continue to do this after this video is made because you guys are holding me accountable this week. Of course I'm going to follow through and be strict with my screen time when I'm making a video about it. But will I have the discipline to stick to this once this week is up? But I am finished with work for the day and following in the small simple things that help me feel good, like reading a book, I want to spend my spare time this evening going for a walk in my favorite forest. Seriously, you guys, fairy tales take place in this forest. Welcome to Thursday. I have been editing this video today actually because I'd like to have it up for you tomorrow, Friday. Yesterday's walk through the forest and the night before's reading session 
felt so incredibly good. I feel so refreshed and content. And this just goes to show that you do not need to do extreme grandiose things to live a good life. And I'm saying this to you, but I'm also saying it to me. This is a lesson that I'm actively learning. Our lives are meaningful no matter what we do, no matter what we accomplish. I have so much more that I'd like to say, but I want to keep it short. And I have a date with Landon tonight that I'm so excited for. So I think first we'll go on this date and then I'll have a quick heart to heart with you guys before ending this vlog. So if you care, please feel free to join Landon and I on our date tonight. I've gotten dressed up for the occasion. I'm not sure what we'll do. Definitely we'll eat food somewhere and then I'd like to go to my favorite lookout over the city and feel small in this very big world. I absolutely love doing that. And then I'll check back in with you guys after with a cozy cup of tea. Well, that was incredible. I know that this video has been about me. It is my hopefully uplifting endeavor to feel alive, but it's actually so much more. I used to be poor. <laughs> That's a very ungraceful way to say it, but seriously, less than four years ago, I was sitting at the United States poverty line. Now, thanks to my patrons and thanks to you all, that's no longer the case. I no longer fear not being able to meet my basic financial needs. And so I now have the privilege to be able to fret over existential life crises. I share my life, I share all of this because it's what I know best. But at the heart of my videos, what I'm really truly trying to do is to let you know, to help you feel that you are loved. I want you to know that you absolutely matter, your life has meaning, and you deserve to enjoy your life. I don't know what this looks like for you right now. For me, it was once being able to afford my bills and not worry about them. That meant that I could enjoy my life. Now that I have that, it's making sure that I'm spending my time in a way that feels good. Really, truly, we're all just doing the best that we can. And no matter what that looks like for you, it is more than enough. So thank you for relating to me and caring about my life. Thank you so much for making me feel so much less alone. Thank you for making me feel like my life matters. 
and thank you for making me feel so loved. I love each and every single one of you. I'll see you soon.